guys we are back with another one it's classic ani and we're gonna get straight into it guys we have our brother's sewing machine the lx3817 and we do have some tracks here these are luxani lace tracks but um they're not brand new like out the bundle they was in my hair band y'all but i came here to show y'all something so do not judge me we are here for more of the technique and a little less of the quality today okay also, I'll be restocking on hair wigs and bundles in the next couple of weeks, so I'll be having so much juicy content for you guys. Keep watching. Love you. Okay, guys, here is where the foot switch is. Oh, my God, the foot pad. And then up here is the on and off switch, guys. So just so y'all know, because without that, we can't get started. Okay, first things first, you do have your easy bobbin winder, easy stitch selector, which we're going to leave on for reverse sewing lever then on the bottom left we have our jam resistant quick set drop in top bobbin damn that's a lot to say upper thread tension control dial okay and then we have this beautiful nice little armrest thingy where you place whatever you're sewing your clothes weed whatever Okay, I don't know what exactly what this is, but y'all can't tell me I ain't show y'all where it was at. Um, as you guys can see, it's going up and down, up and down, look to the left. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, here's your little bobbin. They give you a couple of them in the original packaging. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much it. It does have a hole for you to put your string. And I do love this little compartment because I put it in here all the time. I think it's just so, so cute. Okay, guys, I have my nylon thread. You can get this at a Walmart or you can get this at a sewing store. Um, it's just regular nylon thread. I'm going to put it in through my bobbin. Your bobbin has two holes. There's one that's like a fake hole and then there's one that's like a real hole. You're going to put it through there and then you're going to leave like, I'm going to say a centimeter. But me, I'm so dramatic. I need to leave out an inch or a couple inches because it just keeps slipping through. And I have nails. So I like to overestimate when I have nails because when it's time to get down to get down, I don't got time to be looking crazy. And I don't got time to be sweating. To thread your bobbin, you're going to push it to the right. And to do regular sewing, you want to make sure you click it back to the left. Um, that is very important. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, and I'm going to leave it to the right side because I will be threading my bobbin. Okay, guys. So this is me basically setting up the machine. I'm going to set my thread right there. That's kind of where you set your thread in general. But I'm about to thread this top bobbin and put the thread on there so it can be put into the bottom. You're going to see exactly what I mean in a second. And because I'm not, I don't need that much thread and to save some thread. And I'm only going to be pulling enough thread for my bobbin just to show you guys how to double the tracks but if i was doing an entire wig i would have threaded this way longer so it's gonna look quick but in reality um you can be threading your bobbin for at least a minute or two minutes but you have to be really careful so that it doesn't get tangled or anything like that but in this case you're gonna see me um threading the bobbin just a little bit okay guys the bobbin has been threaded it's not too much and it's not too little it is exactly how much thread i need to show you guys how to double your tracks now i know you guys see this tail sticking out um in the back that is very important and you're gonna see why next okay guys as you can see it tells you the directions right here it tells you you see the check mark is exactly what you're supposed to do and clearly the x mark is exactly what you're not supposed to do um as i said before you're only supposed to cut that shorter in leave that longer in that tail that's right there and you're going to see me well i kind of already did it guys but i'm about to just take it out a little bit okay, as you guys can see hopefully let me I'm going to put that in there. Okay, hopefully I got that. Put that in there. And then we're going to drag that tail from out of there. Put it in here. And then we're going to go along the sides. But first, let me go ahead and put this on here just to um, secure this. You know, just to keep that out so it doesn't get in. We're gonna pull this a little bit, and then there's a little 
little blade right here. I did not realize how filthy my sewing machine was until I just had to do the tutorial, I forgot. But there's that and then it cuts it off. This is this is exactly what the top part of your sewing machine should look like. Um, yeah, and it comes with step directions. It has like one, two, three, four, and pictures to literally show you. It is important that you have this down pat because the tension has to be right so that you can have a proper stitch. You don't want it to be loose. You don't want any holes to be at the bottom of it. Um, so make sure the tension in in the on the top of the sewing machine is up to par before you begin to stitch anything. If you follow the picture diagrams correctly, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Once you are done putting that string through, it is behind there. And the only thing left to do is put your needle inside of your thread, which I'm about to do right now. And it came through so smooth on the first try, which is just amazing. Okay, next guys is all about action. You're gonna take your foot and put it on the pedal, but not too hard and not too long. It's just a nice tap because we want that string at the bottom to come up. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, and the string came up. All right, so I'm just gonna pull it with my fingers. If you have longer nails, you definitely can use a tweezer. That's what I usually use. Um, you're just gonna pull that out so that you can have that lined up so we can just go ahead and double those tracks. If you're a beginner, I strongly advise you to get a sheet of paper and fold it in half and draw a line just to test it out to see um, what your sewing machine is gonna do and see if you have your tension right properly. Um, I'd rather you guys do this than destroy any of your tracks just for safety purposes. Okay guys, this is how the test run came out and then the ends look a little janky just because of the reverse stitch, but it still was clean. At the end of the day, this is the front and this is the inside and this is the back. A stitch is a stitch and it's secured and let's roll. Okay guys, now we're gonna actually put the hair tracks on it. This is definitely a different kind of technique. You wanna hold the tracks together, close to each other, but not on top of each other. I'm holding those two tracks together as I'm pushing down on the pedal and I'm not letting go. Also, I like to reverse stitch the tracks halfway through just for extra security. Okay guys, here are the finishing results. It looks amazing, very clean stitch. And I believe this is from when I did a reverse stitch in the middle, just to secure the track a little bit. And um, yeah, there's no like loopholes or anything like that. And I'm just gonna turn it around for you guys so you can see it from the back, 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 y'all. It looks amazing, very clean stitch, not messy at all, and there is no damaged tracks. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.